Hey guys, before this video starts, I want you guys to check out the server HC Extra. Basically, it's a different type of server. It's a creative server where you can build your trap designs and base designs with free world edits. The IP is down below and um, the logo's on screen. It's honestly, it's a cool concept for a server. It's not an HCF server. You can come on here and just build whatever you want. So like, if you want to do some pixel art for your base, or if you want to do anything, you can just build it. Look, these guys are making their HCF base. So if you want to do that, it's actually an awesome server. So come join. IP in the description. Thanks, guys. Hey, boys. Welcome to the Velt Admin Series. Before everything, I just want to say that I'm going to be doing a giveaway to celebrate 20k. I know it's pretty damn late, but I had to get everything set up with Solium. But he said we could do it. So all you need to do is be subscribed to this channel. Go down below. Click my Twitter. Like and retweet the tweet that I posted. And follow me on Twitter. And you'll be entered. So go down below. Click the tweet. It has all the directions. But I just said them. So yeah. It's one of the highest rank and two of the second highest rank. I'm just trying to give back to you guys, and I'm also going to be doing another giveaway. Uh, I'll probably announce it sooner or later, but stay tuned for that. But I'll keep announcing this one, so go retweet and follow me and like that tweet and make sure you subscribe to the channel, and I'd really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into this episode. Also, I do want some new GFX and a new intro for my channel. So DM me on Twitter after you enter the giveaway, and if you're good at GFX or intros, talk to me so hopefully we can work out something also the post notification shout out goes to enjoy the blacklist right up here thank you dude much love to you turning on those helps me out a lot and gets my videos seen faster by everyone so i appreciate that if you want one all you need to do is go down and click the bell and then comment when you're done so good luck to everyone in that in today's episode i kind of want to highlight what being op is like on a minecraft server with almost 2,000 players if you've never been opt before, obviously you can go into staff mode, in and out of staff mode by typing slash staff. And um, that's what most staff can do, so it's not really catered towards op. But one thing that basically is something that quote unquote ops get is slash GM1. So you can go in game mode and you can place, obviously I'm not going to grief this guy's base, but you can place anything anywhere. And it's pretty unreal, it's kind of the most insane shit ever. You can legit troll anyone, you can do whatever you want. And it's so much fun, like if, if you've never been than admin on a server or opt on a server it's a lot of fun to be able to troll people or just to be able to play stuff anywhere another perk is i can actually op other players if i wanted to so basically i'm not gonna do it because that's a little little overpowered but yeah you can op anybody so you can type slash op and if it says this if it doesn't say unknown command then that means you can op any other player on the server so technically if i really wanted to i could just start opping 100 people and they would all have the highest rank on the server and they would all it would be insane but obviously i wouldn't do that but that's just another thing you can do with op it's kind of scary that they trust a lot of people with it but with a lot of power comes a lot of responsibility so i'm glad they trust me with it also, as you will see in this series, I'm going to be using slash slash wand a lot to troll people. And what this does, if you never saw it, you can do almost endless things with this. So basically, say you want to convert a whole thing to like lava, okay? Oh, I actually shouldn't do it. This kid's here. I'll do it somewhere else. <laughs> but say you want to convert something to lava or something to anything. You can do this. And you guys have probably already saw this, but slash slash set uh, lava. And you can make it even more complicated. You can make it uh, diamond, iron um iron water gravel dirt you can do anything any combination you can make big spheres of land you can do legit anything it's kind of unreal but um and you can also do slash slash or slash slash undo and undo all everything you've done it goes straight back to normal so it's pretty unreal you can do basically anything you can copy and paste stuff so i could just like i don't does this work actually let's see Okay, that's copied, so then can I like slash slash uh, paste? Yo, what? That's crazy. I've never even done that. That's cool as hell. You can do so much. There's endless possibilities. If you do slash slash, look at all these commands. Uh, calculate center, contract, copy curve, cut, evaluate scheme, shift size like it's unreal the possibilities of being admin are fucking endless man and we're going to be using this a lot to troll so that's why i'm kind of showing you guys if you are new to it like guys seriously being opt is actually i can fucking world edit spawn away i could break all these chests if i wanted look watch 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 watch, watch. ready watch actually should i do it oh no should i do it um set, set, set. water 
Oh no, they're gonna suffocate now. Oh no! Are they? Please no. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I just wrote that it's funny. Yikes, I just pranked him. Honestly, one of these times, I kind of want to do a little prank. Like, I don't want to be a too bad of a prank, but I want to, like, fucking change something. Like, look, 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 okay. Guys, we're gonna, we're gonna change spawn, okay? We're gonna change something in spawn, alright? What we're gonna do is we're gonna add a diamond block right here. We're gonna add one diamond block right there. Okay? Sorry about it. We gotta do a little prank, man. One of these days, I kind of want to do, like, just a little prank on spawn. Like, I was I did that, but, like, that. obviously, who cares about that? But, um, I kind of want to do some type of prank on spawn and just prank kids and just see what happens. But who really knows if that'll ever happen? I could just world edit a piece of spawn and just say, you know, so, 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 um, dirt, XD. <laughs> looks, looks pretty good right here, huh? What? What? So, so, so. I did undo. Why is it custom on here? This is kind of awkward, guys. But, um, yeah, I can just roll that as fun. It's unreal. You can do so much fucking shit with that. Thought I'd showcase that. Now on to actually hopefully catching some hackers. <laughs> guys, what the hell is going on? I have Cheat Breaker. What the hell? I just got it right now. Legit, this is insane. Look at all this. You can add any of these mods. You can move anything around anywhere. You can fuck... You can go into the options. I don't know. I'm going to show it off in other videos. I'm going to do a full showcase on it. My version. I know there's other versions out there, but this is unreal. I'm going to be using this. Uh, I actually might not use it in the staff series because I have to use x-ray and stuff to find hackers. But um, I just wanted to show you guys this. This is actually insane. Um, you can even, like, move the scoreboard. Like, uh, like what? you can have the scoreboard center of your screen. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I don't know. It's unreal, guys. Um, I just, I love it a lot. It's crazy. Uh, I'm just not getting used to it, so... Hope you guys uh, will enjoy this. I'll have it in my streams and my Let's Plays and stuff. But I probably won't use it on Velt that much just because I need to have X-Ray and everything for, for hackers. But it's awesome. Thank you, Jay Hall and Eddie. I appreciate you guys. Eddie's the one who gave it to me. Jay Hall, obviously, you know, the creator and everything. So it's awesome to have it. Also, guys, I want to start streaming a lot, like three times a week. I'm sorry this episode has a lot of talking, but around three times a week, guys. So tune in. It'll be on YouTube. And uh, I'll either be playing Admin Series or whatever, uh, Arcane, who knows. But tune in, guys. Hope to see you in there. I want to start streaming a lot more. Guys, we're going to do some TeamSpeak help to finish off the rest of this episode and hopefully get some hackers. We will see. Uh, we in here. What's up, homie? man? Yo, uh, so, I got... Oh, uh, shoot! Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Yo, he took one diamond hoe, he took 32 pork, he took one diamond sword... Yeah, that's our crowbar. Yikes! See, I told you. Oh, he took 250 redstone blocks, 69, 96 lapis. Ah! What a scumbag, man. Yeah, I've, I've known him for eight months now, so I don't know how he's gonna do it. Yeah, he took everything, brother. All your gunpowder, 1,342 gunpowder. Damn. Oh no, wait, he put that in there. I'm dead. Maybe he didn't inside. Oh, no. okay, yeah, he took no, shit. No, he, yeah, yeah, he, he took yeah. that when we went nether. He took stuff from this one. And he took some stuff from this one, homies. Yeah, 250 redstone blocks. I mean, he could have been making a spawn run with the blocks, though. I mean, how, no, how, we how do we? Why would he take the crowbar? Yeah. When he took the crowbar, you can look at the end. There are exactly six and, uh, or five... There are six end portal frames missing, and that's exactly how much you get with the uh, crowbar. So, I mean, I think you can check if you removed it or something. I don't know. Yeah, I, I mean, mean it's, it's pretty obvious. Yeah. You can check who placed these blocks as well. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty obvious. I'll look into the uh, the band for inside and see what's up. Slap him with the fat little band. Yeah, it's a blacklist. Yeah, I'm pretty. It's looking pretty chance, obvious. Man. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, true. He did take the crowbar and the lapis box, and uh, I'm gonna give both these kids the L, man. So, uh, yeah, and I'll try to. I, honestly, I put it in um in the chat for someone to come roll you guys back. No one's replying. Oh, oh, this guy said, "Wait, what the fuck? Am I stupid?" Oh, never mind. But yeah, I put it in the chat, so hopefully someone will come and do it quick. I'm sorry about it, but uh, don't worry. I'll uh, I'll learn how to do it sooner or later, man. And uh, yeah, right. psych. But uh, yeah, I'll move you guys in the admin. I'm sorry for the wait, but um, 
All right, guys. I told them I'd ban the two kids, but uh, there's not much evidence, and I'm not just going to ban off a whim, okay? I mean, I've never really done this type of stuff before, so I'm not really going to ban them. I'll try and freeze them next time I see them in-game and give them a talk, give them a chat, and uh, maybe let them admit, but... I'm pretty, it's pretty obvious evidence, but I don't just want to ban just because I'm a little pussy, okay, so, yeah, we will see, you guys. Alright, well, that's gonna have to be the end of the episode, boys. I'm sorry it was a lot of talking, but it was fun. We got Cheap Breaker, we helped kids get their base back, we world edited its spawn, we showed you guys what Op was like. It was kind of a productive episode, so, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, I'd appreciate that. Let's go for, like, 200, even though not many people will watch the end until the end, but let's go for 200, boys, I'd appreciate it. And if you want a post notification shout out, all you have to do is go down and click the bell and then comment when you're done. And uh, good luck to that. Hope to see you guys in the next one. And hope you enjoyed this one.